this week's Do Something With Your Marketing, I want to introduce you to a very straightforward, almost machine learning technique that you can use for search engine optimization to figure out which keywords you should be going after. Now, to do this, you're going to need a couple of things. Number one, you're going to need some SEO software. So get some software from companies like SEMrush or Moz or Arefs or whatever. Um, I'll put a link in the newsletter to uh, SEMrush if you want to try uh, that one. Also, um, Marketing Over Coffee, the podcast I do with John Wall, is giving away RFs accounts. Uh, I think we've got like three more weeks of giveaways. So uh, go over to marketingovercoffee.com. Check out the most recent uh, episode there if you want to enter to win uh, an RFs account. You're also going to need Tableau, the visualization software. And you can get a free copy uh, called Tableau Public. Now, the catch, of course, is that you can't save your data anywhere except online in the public forum. So uh, clearly, if you're working with confidential data, you probably want to pay, upgrade to the paid version. But um, for uh, just trying stuff out and looking at data, uh, the free version is certainly fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by getting a... Um, a data file from our SEO software. In this case, we're just going to take some law firm terms. I, I pulled this uh, for fun because it seemed like a good idea. Um, and what we want to look at is we want to look at a technique called clustering. Uh, this is a type of machine learning where we are trying to find related data points together. Now, when we're talking about SEO, we obviously want to look at terms that deliver traffic to us if we rank well for them. But we also want to look at something other than just what's heavily searched. So in your average SEO tool, you're going to get things like, for example, the keywords that you can be looking for, and then the volume, which is how much, uh, how much uh, volume there is, how often people search for that term, in this case, on a monthly basis. And there are a whole bunch of different terms here. We'll put on some labels so you can see of, of all these different terms that you might want to rank for. Now, some of these are branded. But some are, are not, like legal counsel, law firm, immigration lawyer near me, divorce lawyer near me, bankruptcy lawyer near me. If your law firm was one of those types of uh, firms that specialize in these things, these would be good terms to rank for. However, again, these are not necessarily, uh, you don't want to look at just one variable. You want to see, are there, th are there things that would be worth our time? So an angle to look at is something called difficulty, which again, Almost every major SEO tool offers some ranking for difficulty. And difficulty is a way of saying how hard would it be for us to, to rank for this term on a scale of from 0 to 100, where 0 is super easy and 100 is good luck. Uh, you're competing with you know massive entities. So let's do this. Let's take this chart. You can see there are some terms here like uh, find a lawyer, very difficult to rank for. This is really hard to draw conclusions from. If, however, we turn it into a scatter plot. Where, and we're going to reverse this axis difficulty because the, the lower the difficulty, the better. So I want to reverse this axis. And there we go. So now more searches are better, less difficulty is better. So if you think about your average two by two matrix, right? The terms that are over here in this section, these are the ones that to us would make a lot of sense to try and go after. Anything down here in the 50 and 60, 70, 90, those are not necessarily going to be terms that, that would be great for us to go after. So let's take really everything here from eh, about a, a thousand searches a month or more with a difficulty of, uh, let's call it under 30. This whole section is a fantastic group of keywords to go after. Now, in software like Tableau, you can do that machine learning, apply what's called clustering where you can see which groups of words belong together. And you can see here the automatic clustering has said, hey, anything 15 and above, uh, 15 and below is, is better. And then anything in that orange thing eh, is not really worth going after. And there's a few reds. So if I take everything that's in cluster one, I keep that. And let's turn cluster one into a set. Now I can take a look at those keywords. What are those keywords? Their volume and maybe uh, what their clicks are and maybe how much it costs for them. But they have to be within set one. These are the easy to look, f easy to rank for terms. So this way, I've now removed a lot of those very, very difficult terms that were uh, further down below 
and now I can see just the terms that are really worth time to go after. So clearly there's a lot of branded stuff in here, but we really want to focus on if we have immigration or divorce lawyers. Uh, the near me terms matter a lot. So if I was a law firm, I would be wanting to focus a lot on those near me, that near me terminology. A state lawyer near me. Uh, scroll down here. Tax lawyer. Law firm interview questions. Traffic lawyer near me. How to manage a, sm a small law firm. Interesting things there. But th I would go through here and look at what are the terms that I might want to create content around. Like, should I get a lawyer for a car? Because that wasn't my fault. If I was a law firm that specialized in that, that might be a good thing. The right to legal counsel. That's uh, a quiz from a, a law firm question. Uh, law firm certification. Workers comp lawyers. So you can see you can build out a very good SEO strategy using data, but using data in a smart way. Instead of trying to, to be everything to everyone, be focus on the things that are going to be relatively easy to rank for and are relevant to your company. That's the low-hanging fruit, as it were, in SEO. So try this out with your own search data, with your own SEO data. If you have an SEO tool, use it. Download Tableau Public, try it out, and follow the steps. You can replay this video with the screen sharing. Replay this video to repeat this process for yourself. If you just want someone to do it for you, let me know. Shoot, uh, reply to the email. If you're seeing this in my weekly newsletter, reply to the email and just say, hey, we want help doing this. But try it out. It's a lot of fun, and you'll be surprised at what you discover in the way that the software clusters different types of terms together. Uh, you would think some things would be harder than they are, and they're not. And that those are the real opportunities for you in your marketing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and the newsletter, and I'll talk to you soon. Want help solving your company's data, analytics, and digital marketing problems? Visit TrustInsights.ai today and let us know how we can help you.